Hi, welcome to day two of uh, Booking Bootcamp. We're gonna get started in just a second. Let me make sure that I am actually streaming live. Let me tag a couple of you all. Everybody. Okay, so I think I've tagged you all. Um, and um, I won't be on here very long. I don't really have a formal training. I just wanted to do a recap of today's um, items that we um, posted and make sure that I share just a few um, pieces of information that I think that will be helpful for you all. So let me just give it a minute while you guys join. Um, Okay, so for today's um, um, boot camp day, what today was all about were considerations, things for you to think about while you, um, before you start booking um, travel. And so the first thing that we talked about today or went over today were commissions. Um, and so what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you where you could find your commissions, at least for IntelliTravel agents, there is a central location for you to find, at least for our preferred vendors, where you can find um, the commission rate. And it's in the preferred um, vendors uh, download. So let me show you how to get there. So let me share my screen, share my desktop. Um, and then I want to take you guys to IntelliTravel. So you'll log into IntelliTravel and underneath IntelliTravel there is, once you log in, make sure I'm sharing my screen. Like there's a new um, item. If you go to um, book travel and go to preferred partners, and then if you download this PDF, which let me hide this so I can see you guys. If you download this PDF, which is the partner directory, download that PDF. That's got at least all of the major preferred travel partners that IntelliTravel deals with. And what you can find out about these, these people, um, these are, excuse me, these are all the preferred vendors. Again, these are not all the vendors that we have to deal with, but these are our preferred vendors that we know are in contact with um, IntelliTravel. And so when you download this uh, partner directory, you can save this to your location if you want. What it does is it has information about like Apple Vacations. I mentioned that yesterday as one of the booking engines that I'm gonna go to a webinar, I think it's tomorrow, about um, to see if it's one of the preferred booking engines that I wanna use. But what I wanna point to you is, is that the commission rates are inside of this document for the preferred vendors. So if you look at uh, Apple Vacations, there's on the first page, there's this little description about 
um, the vendor and things that are important to know. And then right here underneath this picture are the commissions that we would get paid 70% um, of whatever the value is. So if you do an online booking with Apple Vacations, say the, um, let's, I'll do something simple. Let's say that the, um, let me also put my calculator up so you guys can see how your commissions would be calculated. If you go to Apple Vacations, they do um, airline and um, car rentals and hotels and packages for, um, the combination of that. So you get 14%, you actually get 70% of 14%. So it's if it's 14% online bookings and then 12% if you call in. So let's kind of do just a calculation just so you know. Let me see if I can get my calculator to come up. It does not look like my calculator wants to cooperate. Now oh, there we go. All right, so let me stop clicking around because my computer is not happy when I do all this stuff. So I wanna do just like a simple calculation for you just so you understand how it works. So whatever is commissionable on a travel package that you put together. So let's say you put together a package and the total package that's commissionable is $1,000 and you booked it online, you would get 140 of that would be the commission that would be available to be paid out. You would get 70% uh, of 140. So, you know, if I did that in my head, 70% times uh, 140 would be eight to nine, so you would get 90, I think that's 92, nine, seven times four is 28. Yeah, so you would get $98 of the $148, but I'll prove to you that, that how that calculates um, as soon as my calculator comes up. It just may never come up. So <laughs> of course, when you want things to work, that's when it doesn't. Let's see if I can just get a calculator on Google up. All right, yeah, so simply, let's say you did a $1,000 package and all of that $1,000 was commissionable. You did it online, you would take that, you get 14% of that. That would be what would be the commission available and you get 70% of whatever the commission is. So you would get 70% of the 140s to that times would be 98. I was right. So you get 98%. That percentage, that 70% is applicable up until you get $5,000 in total commission in a 12 month period. And then that ups to 80%. So um, all of the travel suppliers, when you look at this directory, you'll see that all of the travel suppliers have different rates that are negotiated with IntelliTravel. So it really just depends on what the negotiated rate is. IntelliTravel has been in business for about 25 years as a travel agency. So they really do work hard to get the highest commissions that we can get. But there's also another thing that I'm gonna show you in just a second that I posted in our group. Um, so like for this one, this is Avanti, you get 15% land, 10% car, um, tour contact, trip me, you get up to 5% European rail. So this is a, it's not a lodging, it looks, it looks like it's an event place. So it's travel experiences, they do destination. Um, so they probably do like uh, tours or that kind of thing when you go um, on vacation to whatever locations they are. So you can look to look up all of the commissions that are uh, payable using this PDF on the partner directory. Another thing that you can do as well is I'm gonna take you to one of the sites where I am a master agent and that's AMR rewards agents. I um, actually took some some training um, so that I could become a master agent with them. And this site, 
uh, they like AMR Resorts is not a preferred vendor, but you're able to still register for them and you get, uh, uh, so like AMR Rewards here, what you get is um, like, so I registered with them because they have a collection of hotels that I want to start to recommend to my customers. But what I like about this, which is an example, is, is that you get, um, you get agent discounts and then you also get special bonuses if they have incentives going on during right now. And so let me see if they've got any. So they have like actually have a reward program. Every, every, um, every, uh, every travel supplier has something different going on like here. So amazing perks for amazing agencies, uh, ma major agents, sorry, amazing agents. And here uh, they, they have a contest special rates and prizes just for you. Um, click on the homepage and click on amazing May banner to learn more, which is, this is the amazing May banner. And they've got special parks that are going on um, here. So I don't know what these are. Um, so like I've not booked with them, so I don't have any points with them, but let's do what it says. It says click on the home button, click on the banner. And it's thinking, so let me not move quicker than it's thinking. But the point that I'm really trying to make here is, so let's click on the banner. And then it takes you to the page that tells you like all the special um, perks that they have. So this is in the month of May because it was travel agent day in May. They've got, um, if you book and you book between in the month of May during this travel, um, you get, you could win a free stay. Um, you get uh, a chance to win a tablet. You know, this is above and beyond your commissions, right? You get double the points when you um, book at these particular locations. Um, and I actually went to a seminar last week about AM Resorts and they're building a new, um, I think it's called Sunscape. Uh, I can't remember the name of the property, but they're building and they're gonna be available in 2019. And they're doing like some amaz amazing rates. Hey Z, um, doing some amazing rates for um, the release, the launch of that property. And I wanna say that that property is releasing in Mexico. Um, but I guess my point that I really just wanna bring home to you is, is that each of the travel suppliers, when you register for the travel suppliers, their actual sites, they may have direct incentives to the agents that would be above and beyond whatever the commission is. So just know what your commission is and know what the rewards are. So, you know, would that lean me towards booking one hotel versus the other? It might. Um, if I'm dealing with comparable um, locations that have the same similar amenities, I would probably book at Hotel A versus Hotel B if they had additional perks for agents. So that's something that you want to keep in mind as well. All right. So one other last thing I want to show you guys is on our Facebook page, I have, um, I posted and I also signed up for, um, in the unit section of our Facebook page, there is a agent's rates. So again, what I did is I clicked, I clicked uh, our Facebook group page, I clicked units. And then if you scroll down, there is a section that has travel agent rates, fans and agent only specials. There's two websites that I added there over the last two weeks that show you um, spoiled agents is one of them. And then um, this other site uh, is the other one. So let's look at this other site first. Um, this site is called Wheels Up Network. And what it does is this is a site for us to go to to get 
agent incentives, fam trips, um, and then it also has sales tools and webinars and training. This site I thought was really cool because it sort of aggregates all of the information for us agents to let us know about rates for ourselves that we can get in terms of what the uh, travel agencies, I mean, the travel suppliers are offering. So they have sales tools and resources. They have, uh, so partners would be travel suppliers. Um, you know, these are promotions and incentives. So that's what I'm talking about. Um, when I say promotions and incentives is that the travel suppliers give us promotions and incentives to book at their particular hotel. So even if you find something, you want to get familiar with some of these choice hotels that you may be interested in going to because they may have additional, like I just showed you AMR Resorts, I'm a member there, um, Club Med, which they have resorts all over the country, not all over the country, all over the world. They have one Club Med in the United States and I think it's out of Florida. Um, but anyway, these are all of the hotels that this site has identified that has promotions and incentives along with their um, commission. So great for you to know that as a travel agent and when you're doing bookings for particular locations is just kind of get familiar with what um, incentives or promotions that the particular suppliers have. So Wheels Up was a good one. And then there's another one that I posted here, which is called, um, sorry, my little menus in the way I can't see. Um, the other one is called Spoiled Agent. I um, actually paid for the um, paid, when you look at this, uh, when you look at this post, I already paid for it, so you don't need to sign up for it unless you want to. But if you use this username and password, you'll be able to get in and get in all of the um, perks associated with Spoil Agent. But Spoil Agent, Spoil Agent has um, it's similar to this other site where it aggregates across it aggregates across all of the um, travel suppliers that they are partners with to show you what um, the, the rates are, the agent rates are. Um, so here we are VIP, you can access it and it'll show you all of the rates and then all the information. So if you click on any of them, if you click on any of them, it will then tell you what the promotions are are going on for that particular hotel. All right, so that that concludes the um, commissions um, part. So let's see what else we talked about today. So today I also talked about fees and um, the type of fees. Should you charge a fee or should you not relative to um, doing research? And so my recommendation is that you do. Um, you do charge a fee. And if you do decide to charge a fee, I'm on live. Can y'all be quiet? Um, sorry about that. So you should charge a fee um, when you do your, um, when you get booking requests. So the booking requests that you get, we went over yesterday, the forms. And um, as you saw in the forms that I've got, there's a bottom part that I let people know that there is a booking fee, what the booking fee is. Now, you as an agent can charge whatever you decide you want, whatever the value is of you, you know, how well you feel like you can sell it. It really is up to you. But like I mentioned in today's post, you do want to, you know, charge for your time. It is above and beyond any travel supplier rate. It's not, you know, it has nothing to do with the travel suppliers. That is for your time. My recommendation is to charge that rate. And that is going to lead into what my third post was, which is really about, you know, how do you determine if your booking people are serious or not, right? Are they just wasting your time? Are they kicking the tires? Are they just shopping around? Well, if you tell them that you have a booking fee, you know, serious buyers are going to do it because they know the value of having a travel agent. 
um, those people who are just kicking the tires, then you can just direct them to your booking engine site um, and they can kick the tires and do their own research, right? Um, but again, these are things that you want to like know already that you want to do, right? What's your fee? How much you're going to charge? You know, what are some of the hotels that you may um, in some of the locations, some of popular locations um, that you want to uh, recommend? And if you do charge a fee, like what are you going to, how are you going to accept payment, right? So that's one of the things that you need to do as well, which was the next pay, um, the next post in terms of the fees is what do you charge? I mean, how do you collect payment? My recommendation is um, PayPal or um, I use, what is the other one that I use? Uh, Stripe. So I use PayPal or Stripe. Each of those allow you to do invoices. Very easy to set up. Um, you can create an account within less than five minutes. All you need to do is just go to PayPal or Stripe. Um, if you guys need help with setting up any of these accounts, please let me know and I can um, help you with that. Again, you don't want to be using personal accounts. You want to be using business accounts. So you want to create a um, PayPal business account and then you want to Stripe only allows you to do a business account. So you want to create a business account for your Stripe as well. Both of them allow you to do invoices um, and it's very simple to do an invoice. You may just want to Google you know, creating a um, Stripe invoice or a PayPal invoice, and you'll get, you know, a plethora of uh, YouTube tutorials on how to do that. Very simple to do that. But whenever you collect payment, you want to obviously collect payment before you start doing the research, right? Not at the conclusion of the research, but before, right? So before you start doing the research, collect your fee, send them an invoice, let them know, you know, they should have already signed off on it. Um, and then you deliver the um, results for them. So always collect fee first. All right, well, that pretty much was today in terms of considerations for you for booking. So yesterday we went over your prerequisites. Today it's some you know major items that you should consider like commissions. Um, not everything is commissionable, like air is not always commissionable. Uh, hotels, they should be commissionable. Um, but you want to check before you book if it's a hotel that's sort of off the beaten path. Um, there's another thing that I've also posted that I wanted to let you guys know too. Um, and this is underneath units, underneath um, like booking, uh, booking sites favorites. I put the Hertz car rental. I've also put, if you are looking to do rentals, vacation rentals somewhere, there is a site called Vacation Pro Rentals. I have not signed up for this site yet, so I don't know what the process is to do it, but I envision that it's similar. I'll be doing that sometime this week, um, and then maybe I'll just uh, shoot a video when I do do it. But this does vacation rentals, so if you're familiar with like Airbnb or um, <clears throat> VRBO, uh, vacation rentals, this does the same thing um, where you can uh, book, but this is just for travel agents to book uh, vacation rentals. And then I've also included the um, airline bookings, but I put all that stuff on there on yesterday. All right, so um, for those who are on, do you have any questions for me? Z, do you have any questions? I know you are probably in vacation mode because you are on vacation in a couple of days, right? Are you excited? It's always just a little bit of a lag. So, okay, if there's not any questions, um, I'll stop sharing, I can stop sharing this. Um, if there's not any questions, then I will let you guys go. Um, and we tomorrow, what we're talking about tomorrow is we are talking about um, training on booking sites. So we are going to be doing training on, um, um, I've actually found directly from Skybird and Centrov training on um, how to book um, and how to understand their airline consolidator sites. So those are gonna be available to you tomorrow. And then I've done a training on um, VAX um, and VAX is very similar to all the other um, sites like um, 
American Airlines, uh, GoGo Express, Vacation Express are all very similar. They just have a little bit of different nuances. So those are gonna be all very similar. So um, doing that research, taking a booking request and then actually doing the research is what you want to be able to do. And all three of those sets of videos that are posting tomorrow will um, give you that information on how to use the, uh, how to use those sites to be able to do that um, type of research, airline only research, and then travel package research. Um, you'll want to use your quotes if you are having to build, like, so say you have to go to airline and then you have to go to the hotel and do that directly, you're going to want to use the custom quote uh, a sheet that I gave you yesterday as a way to aggregate all that information. All right, if there are no questions, then I will go for the evening. If you watch this in the re replay, all you have to do is hit hashtag replay and then um, let me know that you were here. You can also ask your questions in this video um, later and then just tag me, just hashtag Sunday. Um, and then I will um, respond to any of your questions. So this concludes boot camp. Uh, Day two, tomorrow, we're going to be talking about reviewing um, actual um, sites. So how to research and book on those sites. So if you have a particular scenario that you would like to utilize um, tomorrow when we go through our check-in tomorrow and our recap tomorrow, just shoot it over to me, um, you know, today, post it in the group and let me know and say, hey, I'd like to go over this. I think somebody posted that. Um, asked if they were a Ghana specialist, right? So maybe we'll use that as an example and I'll actual demo for you. Like if I got a request for researching Ghana how, or a destination that I'm unfamiliar with, how I would go about doing that um, um, and, you know, try and look like a rock star in front of my customers in a short period of time. So if you have any other scenarios, I'll, if not, I'll use the Ghana example. All right, you guys have a great evening and we'll talk soon. Bye.